Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am very warm and cozy. I'm feeling all the fall vibes, which is very fitting for the perfume that we're going to be talking about today, which is a brand new release from Kayali. This isn't the only release from them. Just about a month ago, Kayali released four new fragrances. The four new releases are all part of this oud collection that they have going on and they are all oriented around a very strong oud note some are stronger than the others i would say the intensity of oud if we're talking from most mild to most intense goes from vanilla oud which is the one that i'm going to be talking about today next up from that is cafe oud then we have rose oud and finally being the most strongest most intense as you can imagine is tobacco oud i think you could guess very easily which one i would have picked out out of the four it was 100% vanilla for me right off the bat. Whether it was oud oriented or not, I feel like I would have still chosen vanilla because I'm obsessed with anything vanilla. And ever since my newfound liking to Vanilla 28, I'm really excited every time Kay Ali introduces a new vanilla because I have definitely come around to really, really appreciate the way that they do vanillas. You know, every time they come out with a vanilla, it's gonna be a really, really unique type vanilla, not something that is, you know, boring and basic that we smelled before. You know, it's gonna be like a really sexy, powerful vanilla and it's definitely gonna deliver. And they really did that with this scent and we're gonna talk all about it. So before we get into this video, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn those notifications on and let's get started. By the way, this video is in no way sponsored. I'm not sponsored by Kayali. They did not send me this perfume. I bought it with my own money. So yeah, just a little FYI. So my new thing when I do these dedicated reviews, I like to right off the bat tell you guys the price point and then go from there. So the price point of this perfume is gonna be a little bit higher than typical Kayali fragrances, which Usually the size of them is always the 1.7 ounce. I think this is just like a standard size that all Kayali fragrances come in. And then they do also have travel sizes as well. But there is a little bit of a price difference because the four fragrances that are in this Oud collection are actually priced a little bit higher than all the other Kayali perfumes. Now, before you get mad, because I know we've been talking about how perfume prices keep going up for seemingly no reason. This one actually has a reason why it's gone up. It's done for no reason. Like you get a Burberry fragrance that is priced at $150 for no reason just because it's new. That doesn't make any sense to me. But this one does and I'm going to tell you guys why. So all of the four fragrances in this Oud collection are all priced at $140 as opposed to their usual $100 even price point. And that is because like I said, these are all oud oriented and if you have no idea what oud is, I'm going to give you a little fast little summary rundown on oud and that explanation is going to tell you why these are priced a little bit higher and it totally makes sense. So I will give them that. I am not mad. Oud is a highly sought after rare and expensive essential oil that is derived from the wood of the Aquilaria tree. Oud, the Arabic word simply for wood, is expensive because it's so rare. The tree can take 20 to 30 years to mature. It doesn't grow just anywhere, but mainly in select regions of Southeastern Asia. So due to its very, very rare quality, the fact that it is kind of difficult to obtain, and as I said here, the tree alone can take 20 to 30 years to mature. It's just a very expensive ingredient because because of that reason and when a perfume price actually has a reasoning behind why it's so high then I'm not mad about paying the price especially when it comes to a scent like this where and you know the history behind even just resourcing it and how hard and rare it is to come across and expensive it is it almost kind of makes you appreciate it even more when it's in your hand so I feel like that kind of makes a little bit more special maybe to the average person you don't give a crap about what I just said but to me being such a huge perfume lover it's just kind of like an added little fun fact about the perfume. I do have other perfumes in my collection that do have oud, but I feel like this is my first more oud oriented perfume. I mean, it's literally called vanilla oud, so you know it's gonna be a standout note in this perfume. And this is definitely a first for me because oud is sort of a polarizing scent. You either love it or you hate it. It's a very strong and powerful note. I feel like the more you get into perfumes, you kind of train your nose to really, really love it. I personally, because I haven't had a lot of experience with oud, my nose is maybe not as well trained as, let's say, somebody that has a huge collection of niche fragrances that have a ton of oud in them. And obviously, oud is going to be in more expensive perfumes. You're not going to find oud in like 
a $20 perfume. It's expensive to get, so it's gonna be expensive to buy. Let's finally get into this specific scent, what it smells like, what I think about it. I actually did a first impression that I recorded on camera of this perfume because while I was filming my most latest perfume haul, which I will link up right here, literally in the middle of me filming that video, this perfume arrived at my doorstep and I was so excited. So at the end of that video, I did kind of like my first reaction to it. Like we unboxed it together and you kind of got a little snippet of my first reaction, which Definitely you can see even from that video was very positive. And it has continued to be more and more positive. My love for this has just continued to grow. I love the fact that Kayali always lists their notes in the back, but I'm also gonna read off the full rundown of the notes that are on Fragrantica as well. As far as the notes that are in here, which I feel like are the notes you can smell the most out of this perfume, this has vanilla sugar, praline, saffron, white musk, oak moss, and oud. On Fragrantica, the full notes are top notes of praline, saffron, and pear, middle notes of Bulgarian rose, and base notes of vanilla sugar, white musk, cashmere wood, oud, and oak moss. So pretty much the same, except on Fragrantica, you also have that Bulgarian rose and the pear, and also that cashmere wood. I would definitely say this is a very, very easy to love oud fragrance and I can definitely smell it in there. It has this rich quality where I see this being compared to Billie Eilish Eilish, which I love, don't get me wrong, but Eilish, it's a spicy vanilla and yes, it smells expensive and it's super, super warm and delicious. And I will say this kind of shares a similar DNA, but you can definitely smell that oud in here. Right off the bat, you can just smell the expensiveness like you feel really bougie when you have this scent on this is a very fiery scent in my opinion if you are a fire sign you need vanilla oud maybe you're wearing a casual outfit with pumps maybe some louboutins and then you have a bright red lip on so maybe your outfit is a little understated but then you have little pops of color that is how i see this perfume because it is soft for the most part it's not going to be a huge crazy projecting scent and I love that they went in this direction especially with this one because like I said in the beginning this is the one that has the most uh mediocre intensity when it comes to that oud and so if people are complaining about this being too soft it was the point of this to be kind of too too soft and then as you go with cafe oud and then rose oud and then tobacco oud that oud obviously will get stronger. So if you're looking for a really powerful oud scent and you're getting this and you're just like, this is really soft and I don't smell it that heavily. I think that was kind of the point when they made this because obviously they took into consideration the fact that oud is more of a powerful scent and not everyone is gonna be used to the no and the richness. So I feel like they did this on purpose. So whether you like it or not, just depends on how much you love oud or not. If you're looking for a stronger oud scent, get tobacco oud. I love this. I just find it so, so creamy. It's so smooth. It's so well blended. The oud doesn't stand out or like punch you in the nose. Everything is just so smooth. That's the best way I can explain it. It's very dark and seductive. It's intoxicating. Very powerful scent, but while also being not too much. I'm a huge believer in that you obviously don't need to show skin to be sexy. You could be fully clothed from head to toe and be super sexy. And that is this fragrance to me. It doesn't feel too, too provocative. There's a level of like, she's mature and she's classy, but you know, she's like a lady in the streets, a freak in the sheets. That is vanilla oud to a T. This is a 10 out of 10 perfume for me, especially for fall and winter coming up. This is the perfect scent. That's why I wore this cozy little fuzzy number that I have going on because this perfume is just, it feels super cozy to me while being sexy and that is everything that I love in perfume. Give me vanilla, give me creaminess, give me well blended fragrance, a little bit of like a woody sexiness. It's literally the makings of everything I love all in one perfume. You're definitely gonna be seeing this in upcoming winter perfume recommendations and even obviously now into the fall. I just can't wait until it starts to actually get a little cool here in Florida. So I could actually really, really enjoy it because it's still a little too hot for it. But in the cooler weather, 
it's chef's kiss so that is it for my full dedicated review to vanilla oud i obviously can't speak about the others i haven't smelled them i know i'm boring and i picked the safest pick out of the four but this was a blind buy for me so i wasn't just gonna risk 140 dollars with the scent that i wasn't too sure on if these do come in stores which that's one thing i'm gonna ask you guys do you know if these are limited edition or not i was trying to do some research to see if they were but i couldn't find anything so if they're permanent and eventually they come out in stores i would love to go smell the others because maybe i would like the others but i just don't feel confident enough with blind buying the others but if you have tried the others let me know in the comments so that is it for me today please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye